Oh, this excites me. Um, I'm going to do a few videos now just to show you some quick and easy DIYs for a baby shower using some of these things. And ah, oh, let's get started. So this is the first DIY for the baby shower and it is a selfie booth. You can also recreate this look for all manner of things, weddings, christenings, birthdays, you name it. But this one is for a baby. They don't know if they're having a boy or a girl, but it is going to be a British tea party theme. So I'm going with a British garden, lots of roses and grass, and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, here is everything you'll need for the selfie booth. I have bought a large piece of card from the range. I've got leftover moss from my previous projects. I've also got lots of fake flowers. That's the most costly part and some PVA glue, but you can use hot podge. And I've got some metallic sprays, fake leaves, which I will be spraying. And I bought this gorgeous um, baby lettering, one pound a letter from the range to go at the top. And you will need your craft knife to cut your board. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is cut the frame out of your board. Um, you guys can use a ruler. Um, sometimes I'll just play it by ear as well. So it depends on your confidence levels, just go for it, I say. You are going to want to put your um, plastic sheeting down. I just use a shower curtain. Then you need to glue with your craft glue or your Mod Podge, whatever glue you prefer, the whole frame. So I'm just going to get on with that. If I can even open the glue, which I can. So, so generous amounts of craft glue. And just use your brush to make sure every corner and every edge is coated. Remember to put your cloth down. You don't want it to get all over your nice table. I'm gonna carry on with that, and if you guys do the same, we'll come back for step two. Okay, your next step for, once you've coated it with the glue, you're gonna cover it in moss. You'll get your moss, this moss is actually quite dry, but it should do the job. You're going to spread it as much as you can onto the spaces and just flatten it down with your hand. Any spaces that are left over at the end, we can just cover up with leaves or roses or anything that's going to take away from the back and just do that all the way around. This is what it looks like halfway through. It is a messy job, but the garden um, theme, it just really does look lush. So I, this is my second bag of moss. So, so far I've used one and a half bags of this natural moss. But it's gonna be worth it, cause it's gonna be pretty. While your selfie booth is drying, your next step you wanna basically pull all your flowers off of their stems. Now, you might think you need wire cutters, but you really don't. They literally just pop off. So you pull each flower off and then you're left with a whole load. These ones here, also come with a whole bunch of leaves that also pop off. You're going to take your baby sign outside, spray it with whatever, co whatever color you want, then you need to spray your leaves also. So we'll just um, take all this outside and we'll do that and come back. So I have used all three of my cans, um, all three colors. Um, so that's copper, um, rose gold and gold. So just a few more to finish off. Okay, I am in love. Like, I am in love with this. I have way too many flowers, but that's okay. Um, this is the fun part right at the end when you get to assemble it all, stick all your roses down. I have only just placed these here. They're not actually fixed. I'm just arranging them. I seem to be going a little bit symmetrical, but guys, do what you want. <laughs> Okay, it is looking like a bit of a hot mess at the minute, but guys, oh my gosh, I actually don't want to give it away. I might just take that bit off and keep it, I think. I think that's what I'll do on a serious note. Oh gosh, right, okay. You do, I did need the wire cutters after all because these roses came with a big thick stem that I couldn't get off. Wire cutters definitely are needed. Hot glue gun is definitely needed. Forgot to mention that in the beginning. You will need that to glue all of your flowers around. I've just put them in a bit of an arrangement. My leaves are all sprayed and dry. I am gonna start assembling and, oh, I can't wait.
Final product, guys. This is what you saw at the beginning. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. I have to tell you all, I will use a board next time. This was a thick cardboard. It definitely needs more weight than that. It needs to be a lot more solid. This is a bit flimsy. I'm going to have to go and buy a foam board, thick foam board, and back it onto that so that it's just got more um, weight around it. People can just hold it up without it flopping all over the place. But I hope you loved it. It's probably one of my favorite DIYs and favorite makes so far. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, do whatever you need to do. And oh, it's so pretty. Thanks for watching.